Abdullah Mbabe is a switch hitting, big punching Tanzanian from Dar es Salaam with an 85% KO ratio. He can certainly punch at a level and with perhaps no pressure on him tonight, if he fancies the upset, this one could be a dangerous assignment for Callum Simpson. How many times, Matt, have we seen a mark time fight become problematic for the championship prospect, in this case, Callum Simpson? Yeah, many, many times. You take your eye off the ball, you look past it, and all of a sudden, you know, you pay the price. This guy comes in, he's got nothing to lose. He's awkward, he's, like you said, he's a switch hitter. He can bang. You know, even at a level, he's got heavy hands, he can punch, and Simpson, you know, looking forward for the Zach Chelly fight, can't afford to take his eye off the ball here. He's got to stay focused and get the job done here. You don't blame him. What an opportunity in this magnificent arena. You would take every single second and soak it up. Yeah, for sure. He's, uh, like I say, he's enjoying this. The pressure's not on him. The pressure's on Simpson. He's just absorbing the energy. Here he is now, stepping through the ropes. And he's up, you know, he's here for the upset. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Callum Simpson. You could hear them before you saw them. The Barnsley faithful have travelled in their coach loads. Terrific support for Callum Simpson. The big punching Barnsley super middleweight undoubtedly has star potential. A reputation forged away from the Sky cameras where he racked up a series of impressive knockout wins on the small hall non-TV circuit. Progress has continued at a rate of knots. The back-to-back -back distance wins have left him seeking an explosive performance tonight. And with that Zach Chelly fight in the summer within touching distance, tonight takes on a whole new dynamic and importance map. Yeah, look, he can punch, but I think those last couple of fights where they did go the distance has given him the experience and the seasoning that he's needed, and I think they'll stand to him, you know, tonight. If it does go the distance, well, he's been there, he can, he can navigate his way through it, but we you know, definitely don't want to blink because the kid has got heavy hands. Ladies and gentlemen, this and all contests tonight are promoted by Ben Shalom and Boxer and brought to you by our headline partner, Bet365, and our official partners, Everlast, Integritas Property Group, Fastline Steel Services, Val Nutrition, Car Finance 24-7. This bout is scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds in the super middleweight division. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Mark Bates. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks with white trim, he stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 12 stone, one pound. He holds a professional record of 34 victories versus 13 defeats and one draw, with 29 of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, introducing Dula Mbabe. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the black trunks with gold trim, he stands six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds. He holds an undefeated professional record of 13 wins versus no defeats, with nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Barnsley, South Yorkshire, England. Introducing the former Central Area Super Middleweight Champion and the current reigning WBA Continental Super Middleweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Callum Simpson! Coach, 
gentlemen, you both got the instructions in the dressing room, so you know what's expected. Get your punches up, but they might come out to protect yourselves at all times. Good luck to you both, gentlemen. I know it's a bank holiday weekend. I know that it's a, it's a four-day weekend for a lot of people. So actually, people travelling down is to be expected, but what an early atmosphere in here, Matt Mackling. Those Barnes and fans really, really making themselves heard, and it just sort of rolls out the red carpet for him to get this done, Callum Simpson, and get back up to Barnsley and set up a homecoming. Yeah, he's had a really exciting stage in his career. You know, he's on a roll, building good momentum. He's due a, you know, a title shot for the British title, but he's, got a, he's on a big card here, but... Can't afford any slip-ups, he's got to stay switched on, be sharp, and get the job done. Yeah, he's already found a home for the long straight right hand, but as expected, Dulla and Barbe, he launches into everything. Just got to be careful, Callum Simpson, keep that chin down. Those of you that follow domestic boxing, you will have seen Dulla and Barbe before, but not as you know him tonight. Boxing under his alias of Abdallah Paziwapazi. He was knocked out by Rocky Fielding in a couple of rounds, but he was a real live challenger in that fight. And he fought exactly like this. Rocky Fielding put him away with a brilliant combination, but it was bells and whistles and everything. This is uh, some start from Mbabe. And, and Callum Simpson, he's fired up. And if he hadn't done his research, and he's found out pretty quickly that Mbabe is here to, uh, to try and wreck that's actually quite nice clipping left hand from Simpson. Yeah, he's uh, wants to start sharp, he wants to put a barbie in his place, but doesn't want to get too reckless either. He's got to can't neglect his own defenses and has to be aware of what the shots that are coming back at him. So yeah, good start from Simpson. He's establishing his jab. He's nice uppercut there as well from him. Yeah, he's certainly settled after those first sort of 30 seconds where both fighters will go in hell for leather. Just got behind a nice basic one two there, Simpson, and found a home for the right hand. Both fighters in black, Simpson in the black and gold, and Barbe in the black and white. We mentioned in the intros, he switches and throws punches from unorthodox angles. Simpson just finds him at the end of the right hand there. Got his distance right there, Simpson. And my eyes have just caught sight of the champion on the horizon, Zach Chelly, watching on. Both look to land body shots. I think it was Simpsons that was a better shot. And then he just goes through the gears with a nice eye-catching combination. And Barbe, he rides some of those punches. He's got a nice high guard. The crowd are up, but I don't think any of those particularly landed. Just smothering his work a little bit here, Simpson. Just landing some good shots and then falling in on top of himself and smothering his own work. Just needs to get a bit of room. Good first round from Callum Simpson. Well, there is. Zach Chelly, all smiles, and why not? His career is in a, it's in, it's in a rich vein. I mean, he, he deserved the win for the titles, and now he's got them. You would think his confidence is sky high. I think he's been a little bit put out by the sort of hype around Cameron Simpson, and why not? Chelly is the champion. But that is a fight we would like to see. Yeah, without a doubt. I think, I think Chelly, you've got to look at his career and admire his took, ch took uh, challenges, you know, and. Uh, Always comes with a lot of intensity, a lot of self-belief. Um, and I think you'll relish that challenge from uh, Simpson. Yeah, and if it has to be hostile territory up in Barnsley, just knowing the, the character makeup of, of Zach Chelly, I would have thought he'll absolutely be delighted to go up there in a hostile crowd. Back to this one. You couldn't really blink with this because both fighters put in a lot behind those early exchanges, particularly Simpson, who threw a couple of meaty right hands towards the end, but Barbe at the moment, he's boxing out the orthodox stance, and he immediately switches to, to Southpaw in the blink of an eye. You have to have your smarts about yourself, because you don't quite know what he's going to do. 
Yeah, Simpson in the first round when he was throwing the one-two and then like a screw shot left uppercut. His right hand was coming a bit low and was kind of open for the left hook counters. And at the start of this round, and Bobby's throwing a few good left hooks, so he needs to tie it up defensively, Simpson. Watch out for that. That's good, nice jab from Simpson. Yeah, just clips and Barbe, who was just trying to creep into range himself. He's got long levers, Callum Simpson. He'd do well to use them, but then when he does close the distance like that, it's eye-catching work from the Barnsley super middleweight. It's a really good left hook to the body. Snuck in there from Simpson. This is good work. Good right hand followed by a left hook by Simpson. He certainly settled a little bit more, you feel, in this second round. I think he's using his jab more in the second round here, Simpson. Those right hooks to the body, right hook to the head combination. Working well for him. Yeah, you would feel we're only in the second round, but those sort of body shots will pay dividends for Simpson. There was a good right hand in there as well, which he didn't throw straight. It wasn't quite a screw shot. It was like a long uppercut almost. And Barbe, though, taking these shots well for the moment. He's only 30, Dullet and Barbe, but this is fight number 50. There's something to be said for activity. As a pro, he's boxed all over, and fair play to him to get to 50 already. With a good record as well. 34 of those have been wins. 29 of those 34 wins inside the distance, as we said. He, he can punch a bit. You can see it. he does look heavy-handed. Do you feel that maybe Simpson has just got his range here, Matt? Yeah, it looks like it. I think he's, he's got to use the jab a bit more, though, I think, Simpson. Just set the attacks up. Don't look for the lead off with the big shots. Get the jab there first, punch your combinations, and then finish the combination on the heavy shot. Good body shot. Yeah, not for the first time. The body shot was a good one from Simpson. Good end to the round for the Barnsley prospect. Good eye-catching work from Simpson. Welcome back. That was a really impressive round from Callum Simpson, who settled down to his work quite nicely. Now. Yeah, landed a nice array of shots. Um, using his jab more, more of the same now in this round. Just a little bit of confusion in the Tanzanian corner, the gum shield. Couldn't be located, now it is. We're ready to go. The jab to start the round from Callum Simpson. He's really made a name for himself, Callum Simpson, up and down the country and really around the world in terms of the sparring pedigree. He's been asked back so many times by Arthur Better Beers camp. We can almost say that he is part of the wider team. But he sparred everyone, and I know Dan Aziz is a, a huge fan. It's good education, because these are this is where you do your learning, but also behind closed doors. That's great education. Definitely, and, and it's it, it's a good yardstick for himself personally. He'll gain a lot of confidence and see where he's at, how he's you know, coping in those sparring sessions. Is he giving as good as he's getting? Is he a little bit under the cosh, comes back the next day, has a go, in a, you know, great, massive for his experience. These are good shots from him. That was absolute quality from Callum Simpson, just uh, working with the right hand. He just tapped with the first right hand and then changed the angle, came back with a, another right hand. Impressive stuff so far from Simpson. This is what he wanted to do. Good right hand, just knocks him by way off balance. Yeah, I think it was partially blocked, but certainly the power carried through the guard. Yeah, and because he's a little bit ungainly, Barbe, it isn't quite obvious if he's hurt or not, because he does sway in the wind a little bit. But undoubtedly, these are good shots from Simpson. The confidence is absolutely flowing. Yeah, I think Simpson's definitely heavy-handed, because sometimes, you know, the shots look like they're arm punches, but you see they have effect. That is not where Mbappe wants to be. 
trapped in that red corner. He was throwing back, but under a barrage of punches, a flurry of punches from Callum Simpson. He's doing a real job here at the moment. Impressive stuff. And most of it is coming off a good, basic, fundamental jab, which is nice to see. Switches down to the body and then back up. Oh, really good work there. You know, double left uppercut off the jab and then switched back through the right hook. Good shot. I'm by no means a purist, Matt. I think you know that by now, but it is all being set up by a good jab. For all the other razzmatazz and impressive work, everything's coming off a, a really good straight jab. Definitely, and the, the, the uppercuts are working really well from now. Right uppercuts, but also the left uppercuts are working a treat. Yeah, Mbappe actually can't get out the way at the moment. We spoke about he couldn't get a read on Mbappe's punches at the very start of the first round. They were coming from different angles, but Simpson now boxing out southpaw. He's got Mbappe in a storm. He doesn't know where they're coming from, doesn't know if they're going to the head or to the body. And Simpson just continues to pour it on. Brilliant round from Callum Simpson. Impressive stuff. Let's just keep an eye on this blue corner as well. I just, there was a shake of the head there from Mbappe. I just wonder. I just wonder if there's a discussion going on there. Well, he's certainly giving out distress signals. Where's the Vaseline? Yeah, whatever the question was, the answer was no. Yeah. From Dylan Barbe. Yeah, I mean, it was a real confident finish there to the round from Simpson. I think he may start this round quick. Yeah, they won't have heard that combination, but Mark Hurley and the team in that red corner will know that was a torrid three minutes from Dula and Barbe. And if Simpson can start how he finished, perhaps he could get his man out of there. Desperately wanted to get a stoppage as well after back-to-back -back points wins. At the end of the day, he's a young fighter, and they want to knock people out. Yeah, the benefit of the rounds. It's all experience and you can't buy it. But he wants to he wants to get the headlines. Yeah, but Mbappe's come out here aggressive himself here. He's really letting his hands go. Trying to take the fight to Simpson. Trying to back Simpson up. Yeah, all credit to him. If this is one last hurrah, it certainly started well enough in the first 40 seconds of round number four. Yeah, and it's up to Simpson to take the sting out of him, tame him. That was good defence from Simpson on that occasion. Nice high right glove. Yeah, good lead right hand there from Simpson. Yeah, I think there's something in that massive right hand. Drops in Barbe. Set it up with a brilliant left hook to the bottom. Followed it up with a crisp right hand to the head. He shakes his head. This one's going to be over. Callum Simpson back with a bang and sets up. A British title fight with Zach Kelly. Yeah, looked really good there. Put his shots together well. And Babby came out at the start of that round trying to fight his way back into the fight. Really, you know, put the pressure on Simpson, tried to back him up, take the play away, but Simpson answered him with better shots. Got him under the end of the jab, landed a lovely lead right hand and then put a combination together with it to get the knockout. That's nice to see Callum Simpson just helping Mbappe back to the blue corner. But they will be very happy in that corner. See Kevin Marie. And I can just see that I know that that's where Zach Kelly is seated. And they're just exchanging one or two words. We can't see it, but I'm sure that Callum Simpson will be saying, you're next. Yeah, he was definitely shouting down to him. And I, I don't know what he was saying, but I can see Zach Kelly. Answering him with something. I'm not a lip reader, but uh... you're many things, man. <laughs> you're, ve you're many things, but I don't think you necessarily have to be a, a, a lip reader to know that they're exchanging a couple of pleasantries over the top rope. But why not? They're on a collision course. What do you think, Zach Kelly, would have made of that tonight? Uh, I think you would have been impressed. You, you, you could, how could you not be? Uh, Simpson, he boxed well. He uh, right from the first round, he come out. He landed some good body shots. Yeah. He landed. Uh, some lovely uppercuts, left uppercuts, right uppercuts. You know, and in the end, he landed, I think it was his right hand, which got the uh, the job done. But you see those left uppercuts working. 
a treat for him. Yeah, there was the right hand. He missed with the left off, but he, he set up the right hand that, to, to come behind it. But uh, no, I think it was a really, really good performance from Simpson. And uh, yeah, Zach Shelley will know he'll have to be on his game if he's to fend off this guy. Yep, and for context, only two have done it. Rocky Fielding was one of them, we said that. But Umar Salomon, very talented Russian, future light heavyweight world title challenger, the only other one to do it. So there's pedigree there. Simpson joins a pretty good list with a very impressive performance topped off by that brilliant right hand. That's a highlight right, highlight real finish for Simpson. And no wonder they're celebrating. It's a long journey down from Barnsley. And they will have enjoyed that every minute of it. And that was a proper job from Callum Simpson. Let's get confirmation of the result with Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Bates calls a stop to this contest. At one minute, ten seconds of round number four, declaring your winner by knockout, Callum Simpson. So Callum, was that punch perfect? Not punch perfect, far from it. You know, I've seen Zach Shelley say ring size, so I didn't want to. I to put on a performance, but not too good. Didn't want to take too much. You know what I mean? So I said I wanted to make a statement, end it early, push a little bit in first, but. You know, stuck to a boxing, did a little bit of flashy motion, not too much, and then finished him in the fourth. What was it you said to him after the fight, Zach Chelly? Let's go, Chelly, let's go! And it's him next, isn't it, for the British title? Yeah, that's it, that, that's what I want next, he wants it as well. As far as I'm aware, it's happening, hopefully a bit closer to home as well. OK, Ben, let's just bring you in on that one. Closer to home, he says, Zach Chelly is the champion, but can you get him to travel to Barnsley, do you think? I think that's next. There's not many fighters in the UK that have that knockout power, that have the fans like Callum Simpson had. We promised him a trip to Barnsley. Zach Shelley's always game, wants the smoke, wants the big fights. It's just a great British title fight. May the best man win. Can't wait for it. Well done tonight. Yeah, Barnsley, yeah. do you want to show up in, up in time or what? We want one. Yeah, whatever they say. There you go.